Okay, so we, we love to take these deep dives into fascinating stories, and this one, well, this one has it all. You sent over some articles about Jill Duggar Dillard. I did. And I have to say, I mean, her story is really everywhere right now. And for mm -hmm. those who need a little refresher, Jill is one of the daughters from the Duggar family. Mm -hmm. You know, those folks from 19 Kids and yeah. counting that reality show. Yeah. And and the whole family was you know, famous for their very conservative Christian beliefs mm -hmm. and that super strict upbringing. Mm -hmm. And Jill, well, she's kind of stepped away from all of that. And now she's speaking out about her experiences. And it's, well, it's pretty captivating. It is captivating. Uh, you know, it's really interesting to watch how she's going through this whole public transition. Yeah. I think a lot of people can relate to how complicated family relationships can be, you know, Slay. especially when beliefs and values start to change and diverge. And, mm -hmm. you know, what we're seeing with Jill is this woman who's really trying to figure out how to reconcile her past with her present yeah and her relationship with her parents is uh i think it's being described as in a, a rebuilding phase yeah, yeah but with healthy boundaries boundaries yeah. yes yes which suggests that she's you know deliberately trying to create some distance and redefine how they interact as a family mm -hmm. and you can't ignore the duggar family's history you mm -hmm. know all the controversy surrounding josh duggar that probably had a massive impact on jill's decisions and her journey to figure out who she is you know going through these articles there's one word that just kept jumping out at me and that's boundaries interesting it almost feels out of place when you think about the duggar family it does like their whole public persona was built on this idea of obedience and loyalty almost like it was a central part of their faith yeah yeah. So to hear Jill not only setting boundaries, but like openly talking about them, that's a powerful statement. Yeah. You know, it's like she's drawing this line saying, this is where my loyalty to myself begins. Yeah. And it's even more powerful when you read what she wrote about her upbringing. In her memoir, she says, it was a tool for silence, for control, for guilt. Wow. You know, when you hear that, you really start to understand the pressure she must have felt living in that environment. Right. And then you add in the fact that she didn't see her parents for over a year at one point. Like, that just shows how deep that rift really was. Absolutely. It's like a physical representation of that emotional distance. It's yeah. like she's walking this tightrope, you mm -hmm. know. She wants to find her own voice and establish her own identity. But she's also trying to maintain some kind of relationship with her parents. Right. There's a quote from her where she says, they're my parents, and I'm going to tread lightly. That's so powerful. It really shows how hard she's trying to find that balance, you know, respecting her family while still staying true to herself. Yeah. And, you know, it's interesting that her parents haven't really responded to her memoir directly. Right. But they have said that they want privacy and prefer to deal with these things as a family. Oh, that's interesting. Which suggests that they're more focused on keeping the family together and avoiding more public scrutiny. I see, I see. Which makes sense. You know, for yeah, that. It does. Yeah. What I find really remarkable is that Jill isn't just dwelling on the past. She's actually creating a new life for herself and her own family. She is. She's choosing to share her story in her own way, like through the Shiny Happy People documentary. Did you see that one? I did. Which, you know, if you haven't seen it, it's a docuseries that really dives into and critiques the Duggar's belief system. Right. And then there's her memoir, Counting the Cost. Yeah. These are conscious choices she's making to be in the public eye, but now it's on her terms. Exactly. She's reclaiming her narrative. Yeah. Even the way she describes her current interactions with her parents, she says, we try to hang out whenever it works well and we have the bandwidth to navigate things. Right. That shows such an intentional and measured approach to their relationship now. It does. I mean, what we see in Jill's story is really a testament to resilience and self-discovery. It is. It resonates with so many people because it touches on these universal themes, you know? Absolutely. The complexities of family dynamics, how our beliefs evolve over time. Yes. And the courage to speak your truth, even when it's hard. So hard. What makes Jill's journey so powerful is that she's taking control of her own story. Yeah. It's a powerful message that she's breaking free from all those expectations and creating her own path. It really makes you think, what does Jill Duggar Dillard's journey tell us about how family relationships can evolve, especially when they're playing out in the public eye? For sure. It's a story that encourages us to think about our own experiences with family, mm -hmm. the importance of setting boundaries, yeah. and the strength we find when we use our own voices. Absolutely. It's really something. It is.